Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to keep today's intro short and sweet because I want to get started with showing you the outfits that I've created today. But the basis of today's video is I wanted to show you a few outfits that you would already have pieces that are really similar in your own wardrobe without having to go out and buy anything new, just to give you a bit of inspiration. I've also tried to keep these outfits as comfy as I can because I know a lot of us are still working from home or maybe not even working from home, maybe just at home. So they range from pretty casual up to cozy and comfortable but still put together. So I hope you enjoy today's video and let's go ahead and I'll show you the five outfits. Outfit number one is what I would consider structured casual. So it is a relatively casual outfit but it still has some structure to it, it has some shape. So I have paired a slogan t-shirt with a pair of beige faux leather trousers. Faux leather trousers have been really on trend this year and I figure most of us will have picked up at least one pair before the lockdown came into place. Any colour of leather trousers that you have will work for this outfit. Even if you have leather joggers, those could work as well. They'd make the outfit a little more casual, but I think it would still look really cool paired with a slogan tee, which I think is a staple in most people's wardrobe. It's been on trend for years. So again, it doesn't have to be grey or similar to mine. Just any slogan tee that you have will work for this outfit and I've paired that with a pair of white sneakers. Mine are kids but again any white sneakers or really any sneakers that you have will work. Although this is a really casual outfit I've given it a little structure by tucking the t-shirt in completely and having a pair of trousers that are high-waisted and really cinch me in at the waist. Although this is a relaxed casual look it has a bit of that juxtaposition with the structure that it has as well. Outfit number two is one of my favorite outfits that I've put together recently. This is a one tone look and I know that that is a really popular vibe. I wanted to show you my take on this because I felt for a long time like I didn't have the pieces in my wardrobe that could create this kind of look, when in actual fact I did. My one tone look is around a cream color. Really you can do this with any color that you like. I find that the lighter the outfit the more chic it looks, however I don't like an all white outfit on myself which is why I've gone with creams. I personally think this is the easiest colour option to go with because they don't have to perfectly match. Any kind of off-white creamy tones will work together without looking like they clash. I find if you add white then everything has to be exactly the same tone otherwise things look slightly off. So I have gone with a cream high neck lightweight knit jumper and I've tucked that into a pair of mum jeans. These ones are from Topshop, they are the Ecru colour which is kind of like an off-white sandy colour and I've paired that with my trainers from Everlane in the off-white colour. So as you can see all of the colours are very similar and I think this is a really put together look that you could definitely rock after this is all over once we're allowed to leave the house again. Outfit number three I'm calling it cozy but put together. This is something that I would definitely wear to work this is kind of my regular autumn winter uniform. Jeans, a cozy jumper and some boots. So any variation of that and you will be good to go. However, I did want to style this one up in particular because it features a couple of items that are newer to me. Not saying that you have to go out and buy anything new and I definitely always had this outfit on repeat last winter just with different items that I had in my wardrobe. But earlier this year I picked up this big chunky oversized jumper from Topshop and I really wanted to style it up for you guys. Even if it's not the most imaginative outfit, keep in mind we are doing outfits you already own in this video. Any oversized super cozy jumper that you have will work for this outfit. I've put mine with my Topshop The Editor straight leg jeans, which is not new to me. I definitely wore these all last winter. I've just done my little French tuck for this outfit. That is my usual day-to-day -day way to wear this kind of outfit. And then to finish it off and pull it all together, I have paired that with my Everlane glove boots in this dark brown color. Since the outfit is mostly an oversized jumper and jeans, the boots really help to elevate the outfit. They have a little bit of a heel on them, which makes it a little bit more pulled together. So although this is a relatively casual outfit, it's still one that you can definitely wear out of the house, to work, depending on the job that you do, but still feel really super cozy and snug. Outfit four, I am calling almost casual. This is probably the most casual outfit out of the ones that I'm showing you today, but it is also super comfy as with the theme of this video. So I have paired my H&M grey hoodie with a midi skirt, which is definitely not a casual midi skirt, but the hoodie is definitely casual. So it gives us this fun little juxtaposition of casual versus kind of smart. Depending on the hoodie that you have and where it cuts off, I think you can play around with the tuck of this. You might want to tuck in the whole thing, 
or just do a French tuck or if you have a cropped hoodie you might not want to tuck it in at all. And then to help keep us nice and comfy I've paired this with my Nikes which are super comfortable and easy to walk in all day. The black of the trainers helps to tie it in with the skirt and also makes it a little less casual than if it was just white sneakers but because they are still sneakers and also because we have the hoodie it is a very casual looking outfit just with a smart skirt. This is not something that I would wear to work but it is something that I would potentially wear in the weekends and definitely something I'll wear while I'm stuck at home. And the final outfit, I'm calling this Color Splash. So if you love a bit of color, this one is for you. We're gonna style up a bit of yellow. I think this is the smartest outfit that I'm showing you today, but I still think it's pretty comfortable. Also, getting a bit of color into your wardrobe is perfect for spring if you're in spring right now. So if you haven't already, it might be time to dig through your out of season clothes for spring and summer. Get them out, get them ready, find that color in your wardrobe. I'm wearing a really lightweight yellow jumper. You don't have to go with yellow. I'm using yellow as an example because it's a color that I have in my wardrobe that makes quite a statement, but you can do this with whatever color you want and whatever color you have. I'm pairing it with a dark gray satin looking midi skirt, which is already quite a nice outfit in itself. I'm wearing yellow sandal heels because they match pretty well with the jumper, and you could just leave it at that. You've got a bit of color, you've got a really nice looking outfit, but if you want to elevate it a little bit more, you can also add a blazer on top. I'm adding a checked blazer, it's actually the only blazer that I own. If you have a collection of blazers, you can add the one that you feel pairs best with the colors that you've put into this outfit. But because mine has a few different colors in the check, I feel like it works pretty well with most outfits. This is definitely a bit smarter than the other outfits I've shown you today because we have the blazer, we have the heels. You don't have to have sandals with this outfit, they don't have to be heels. You could swap it out for a pair of colorful boots. Anything that makes a statement really, this outfit is mostly about the color statement that I'm making but you don't have to make a statement through color it could be a pattern as well anyway that wraps up today's video thank you so much for watching do let me know which outfit was your favorite I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next time a big thank you to my patrons over on patreon thank you so much for supporting me financially if you feel like you would also like to support me financially I will have the link to my patreon in the description box below